This demonstration is to show that evaporation causes cooling. I have a little beaker and a little block of wood. And I put a small amount of water on the wood and then the beaker on top of the water. This is a liquid that evaporates very quickly. It's called ether. It's very flammable and if you breathe too much you'll probably fall asleep. It used to be used as an anesthetic to put people to sleep. The temperature of the ether is 18 degrees Celsius. The temperature is dropping, it's minus 10 degrees Celsius. And now we see that the wooden block is actually stuck to the beaker. Why has that happened? Well, the bit of water that was underneath is actually frozen and it's stuck quite strongly to the bottom of the beaker. If I break it off, this feels very, very cold. There's a thin layer of ice that was holding the beaker down. So, how does evaporation cause cooling? Temperature is defined as the measure of the average kinetic energy of the particles of a substance. At any instant, there are fast and slow-moving particles in the liquid. The fast-moving particles at the surface are bumped out of the liquid, thus leaving the slower, also called cooler, particles behind. That's one explanation. Or, it takes energy for particles to evaporate, and they get this from the particles left behind, which means those left behind have lower energy, lower temperature.